In this video, we will talk about the basic functions of the brush tool in Photoshop CC. And we will also talk about brush options to manage behavior of the brush in different ways. Now go and grab the brush tool from the toolbar. And the first menu in the option bar is Brush Preset Picker. Here we can change the brush tip. And this menu shows different types of icons, which are actually different types of brushes available. Now click on this small wheel icon. Here you will get a list of the different groups of preset brushes. These brushes are inbuilt with Photoshop. If you want to add any brush preset, just click on it. I choose square brushes. Then it will ask you to append brushes or replace them. Append means it will add them to the existing list of brushes, and if you click OK, then it will replace all brushes together. Now, if you have a set of brushes that you downloaded from the internet, to add those brushes, you need to go to the end and choose Load Brushes. Let's talk about editing the brush. I'm choosing a soft edge brush here, and you can see right above it, size and hardness. You can set the size of your brush, and hardness determines the hardness and softness of your brush edge. If I keep hardness to zero, then the brush will paint with very soft edges. And if I set hardness to 100, then it will paint with very hard and sharp edges. And the brush is going to paint whatever the color you have set as your foreground color. Right now it's black, but if I choose red, then it will paint with red. Now one more thing is, we can also apply blend modes to brushes. If I choose overlay mode and paint with the same red color, then it will blend with the background image. I can also play with its opacity. If I want to paint with the same color with some transparency, then I need to drag down the opacity. And the flow determines how much area the pixels flow to when clicking the brush. If I want to resize my brush, then this is the shortcut to do it. Just press left bracket and right bracket to size up and down. These are some very basic features of the brush tool, but to become more creative, we need to go ahead one more step by adding behaviors of the brush. For that, I need to go and click on this icon up in the options menu next to the brush preset picker. It will open up the brush options panel and we can also open it from the window menu and select brush to open the same panel. In this panel, at the top of the list of options, in brush tip shape, we have the same options as we have seen before in the brush preset picker, such as size, angle, roundness, hardness, and spacing. Check on these items below. If I want to change shape dynamics, then just click on that, and you will get its options to modify brush behaviors, such as size jitter. Just keep it in your mind that jitter means it randomizes that feature as you paint. You can also choose different controls, such as fade, pen pressure, pen tilt, and stylus wheel. Let me change my brush so you can see the effect of every option when I change it. You can see this preview panel at the bottom of the brush panel. Here we can see the changing behaviors of the brush as you change them. So you have size jitter, angle jitter, soundness jitter, and much more. The brush will paint according to how I set the different values in this panel. Next, I can scatter the brush. I can increase or decrease the count of the brush when we paint. And we can set the count jitter too. You can see it looks very nice. Next, I can give texture to the brush. And for that, 
go to the Pattern Picker and choose any texture you like from the Texture menu, and modify all other behaviors per your requirement. In dual brushes, we can use two different brushes at the same time with the help of blending modes, and we can modify their size, spacing, scatter, and count. I can add color dynamics to my brush, and the color of the brush will be between the foreground and background color, and we need to set hue jitter, saturation jitter, brightness jitter, and purity to get proper output. In this transfer option, I can randomize the opacity and flow of the brush. You can see the changes in brush opacity in the preview panel. Brush Pose is the new feature which is able to modify the tilt and rotation of any brush. You can use Noise to give a little bit of noise effect to your brush. Wet Edges will give a more natural look to your brush. It can give a wet watercolor look. Build Up allows you to build up on top of it in a natural way, so you create as if it was with real brushes and natural colors. Smoothing makes things look smoother and you can protect your texture on the images by checking on the Protect Texture option. So you have lots of options and behaviors with brushes, and you can make various types of brush designs every time and increase your own creativity. Now in the next video, we will talk about how to work with text in Photoshop.